Uh, okay, it is Wednesday. Um, the update already hit. I was actually kind of worried that um, we'd get like maintenance or something, but then I, I was like sitting there and I was like, no, we had maintenance last week. Uh, so I think, uh, so I was like, yeah, we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm doing this after maintenance. Uh, I risked it in terms of like, oh, it could, uh, there could have been maintenance, you know, there could have been maintenance. Um, so there's six tokens to five tokens. So we're pretty even in tokens and they're beating us in havoc. Uh, so this does put a little bit of pressure on the last, like the last six, we really need to get them and hopefully on their, on their end, uh, they fail more. Um, like we need to perfect all our tokens and then they, we need to wait for them. Hopefully they, uh, mess up, uh, on their, in their last tokens, but I don't think they will. I think, uh, I think we kind of got, uh, I think we lost here, but we'll see how things turn out. Um, so this was actually from I think the last Guild War Monday. It was two days ago, two days ago. Hmm, I don't know. I think these this these going up. So again, as always, like this first team seems to do pretty well. Uh, the bottom team did pretty well uh, over there. Um, but yeah, so this this bottom team is a little more troublesome, and I really have to work on figuring out what to do down here. But other than that, um, looking pretty good. Uh, we did, uh, actually, do we? Yeah, we haven't been attacked at all today, which is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's like it's one of those things where it's like, well, what, what exactly does that mean um, when you're not being attacked? Is it just that, like, people are avoiding you? And it might be just that, like, you know, your defense is at the point where it's like, oh, people don't really want to attack you. Um, but then, you know, some people might attack you, and then you end up just getting stomped on because you don't have, like, you know, what needs to be done to... You'll have what you need to uh, really back up uh, your units there. Uh, so I think we should start just knocking over some towers. There's only me and someone else who has tokens left, so I think I'm just gonna like hit this one. Uh, this one looks pretty good. It's pretty interesting to hit. Um, I think what what I'm supposed to do up here is. Uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do up here is you, RB, and I don't have any units that have enough effect resistance, effect resistance, I, have a, I don't have any units that have enough effect resistance to really, like, deal with what's going on here, but I think what I should do is maybe run like him the damage mitigation first and foremost um well actually no i might have to like okay so down here what i think i want to run is that with ssb right, does that seem pretty good i think that's pretty good um yeah i mean this looks pretty fine i guess we'll just go in there and see what happens this is gonna look really bad on my um <laughs> my record uh we're in a very like precarious position i guess you could say here like i really need to get these so i don't know. who knows how they how, how they might uh be thinking about that but yeah um let's just get in there i guess um always look for a chance to use uh always happy to to find a chance to use um Zerato. Perfect. And for some reason, my, uh... Oh, I forgot he does that. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I don't know how I can be so stupid. That was so bad. Um, yeah, I forgot he did that um, for some reason. And so I, there you go. I didn't get burned at all, which is pretty darn annoying, if I do say so myself. Uh, funnily enough, now he's going to... See, he's going to stun him, which is fine. He's just kind of here to take hits, because he's going to come after him, yeah. Will he die from this? No, I guess not. Um, let's hit... Uh, I want to hit somebody with... Yeah, I'm going to hit someone with a uh, defense break. We'll hit you. Get you. Push you back. Yeah, that was like the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, gosh damn. Uh, like... 
Oh my gosh, like, I can't believe that's on footage now. Ah, oh, crap. So he's, he's taking a bunch of stuff he shouldn't be taking here. Wow, this is actually went pretty well. Um, I don't actually think we'll lose this one, but uh, we'll see how this turns out. Uh, so she dies, and she didn't die, but and we didn't get the thing. So that turned out. That turned out fine. Um, this was this is the kind of situation where instead of bringing Crow, I probably should have brought something like um, what's his name? Uh, trousers, um, because his his S two passive is better for that. Okay, so this is this is the other this is the other thing I want to point out here. Um, Athletica is not very good on on defense for Guild War because she doesn't get the hundred percent CR boost. Um, yeah. Let's do this. That's pretty cool because now she doesn't like she didn't get uh, there. You go. That's what I'm, that's what I mean when I say this is like. Uh, the only other problem is now we have to worry about um, Arbiter reviving on us. Oh, actually, I guess we don't. Um, oh, we do now. Um, but problematically, it's not so much the Arbiter reviving, reviving, uh, the Arbiter reviving, so much as it is now the fact that we don't have the skill nullifier anymore. Um, let's let's see what happens here. Okay, not too shabby. Uh, now she's gonna do this, and we're gonna get to. We should be able to counter here, and they should be dead. Uh, okay, that was a little sketch there. Uh, but she should be dead in a little bit here. Excellent. Uh, we'll let's get you with this. Okay, perfect. Um, so there you go. That's yeah. That's kind of how, how you do that. Um, we lost Arbiter so stupidly. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. So <laughs> That's on camera. Everybody gets to know how much of an idiot I am. Uh, so 180. So let's say I get 180 on the next one. Uh, 180 on top of that is, four, is 440 plus 80 is 520. So 520 plus another 180 is 620 plus 80. It's seven, so that's seven hundred and seventy. Um, so if I get perfect on these next two, we should have seven hundred and seventy, and then the person after me has to do decently well too, and then they have to do crap on the last attacks there. Okay, so actually, I don't think I'll be able to get one eighty because no tower is close to being knocked over, other than this one here. Yeah, other than this one, so that, that's kind of the suck. So I have to, I'll attack this, figure out what to do in the next, uh, the next few. Okay. So we are there. There are two. Oh, this is perfect uh, for this, I think, right? Um, or maybe. This might actually be better for this. And then, like, a healer here somewhere. Where is my healer? Who should I bring, I guess, is the question. There's no debuffs, so yeah, the only thing we're in danger of is dying, which uh, <laughs> is a pretty big danger, I guess I should say. Um, so let's just bring Ruel. Uh, there we go. Yeah, see guys, Ruel's finally tanky. I just have to, all you gotta do right is, is give her not only defense buff, <laughs> you gotta give her the Aureus. Um, good gosh, man. Uh, this bottom team. The Raz is annoying me here.
Oh, shit. <laughs> I got distracted or something. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah. Uh, sorry about that weird pause. <laughs> uh, I turned over to do something on my phone, and then I forgot that I was recording somehow. Um, but yeah, so I kind of uh, settled on these teams here. So she can't cr she can't proc counterattack, so I'm just going to have her sitting here um, just wailing away at these guys, and hopefully they don't do enough damage to kill me. Um, them two will be focusing on him, which means that he, his horse theoretically should be uh, off cooldown fat or able to be triggered faster. So I'm probably just gonna kill Charles because he's gonna be huge irritation. Um, and then it'll just be them two, and uh, he can just focus on her without having to proc his uh, counter attacks. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's kind of the theory up here. Uh, down here. Um, it's basically just to keep regular Tenebri a live game. Um, hopefully with this barrier and her heals focusing her, she won't die. Um, she is going to focus her. She is going to focus her. And then he is the, the main, my main issue is going to be that he can either hit her or her. So I really need to be very careful, um, considering this. Uh, so yeah, let's just get in there, I guess. Um, the biggest problem is going to be that hitting that, um, What's her name? The girl over there, uh, Mersa. That's of course. That's I mean. That's always been the problem with Mersa, right? Is just hitting her. Um, but yeah, so that's all right. So AK, not bad. Let's hit. Uh, well, yeah, let's just hit you. Let's see if Charles procs. Yep, of course he did. One and two. <laughs> Let's see if Charles procs again. Okay, it didn't. Cool. Let's find out if he has counter set here. Okay. We don't, we still don't know, obviously, but... Um, that's that. Uh, low HP, so it might be damage-oriented. Not too terribly so. Don't die. Thank God. Uh, which did this? What? Oh, well, that's even more annoying now because of this. Um, let's see. Let's revive you. Unfortunately, for a turn, while he's um immune uh, immune to damage, he's going to be. Uh, they're gonna focus on Ruel, which is kind of annoying. So I have to burn a heal on her. Uh, so nobody can counter here. So this is good. And I actually hit that um, violet over there, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to burn. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna have to burn her heal on herself. Unless, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I have to burn this on herself because she's gonna die otherwise. Let's get rid of this. So, that, well, I don't think we'll kill her, but hopefully we'll do some damage. Okay, very nice. Okay, so we're, <laughs> we're basically we're stacking up the. Uh, let's hit you. We're stacking up the uh, damage on. Uh, ugh. Did he get a counter? Oh, okay, he didn't. That's fine. Uh, we're stacking up the damage on um, Crow again, which is kind of. Uh, a huge irritance. See if he gets provoked here by the CC on the Elbrus. No, okay. Let's hit you. Okay, very nice. Okay, so oh, he's, he might die if he gets the S2 proc. Okay. Uh oh, this is even worse because he's gonna get the uh, S3, and yeah, I'm gonna die again. But I think uh, it should be fine because. Oh, actually, see, yeah, his S3 is up again, so I think I'm just going to soul burn this. I mean, okay, like, ideally, I should soul burn. I should, yeah, I, I shouldn't do this, right? I could just soul burn this and kill them and then be on my merry way, which I think I might just end up having to do. Uh, where's my, t where's my Tenebrius S3? So I can soul burn 
Yeah, this is looking pretty tricky. Okay, so if I soul burn her S1, I'll get the S1 and then the S3 again. So the S1 should probably theoretically see that's that's kind of the problem. It's like the S1 should theoretically kill him and then drop him low, and then I should um, S3 them, but. Um, Uh, where's Charles in this lineup? Oh, he's after, yeah. So I think I have time to lap them with uh, her. Because if he S3s again, he's gonna kill her, I think. Like, fairly certain of it. Let's just, let's just burn into this. It's not that big a deal. Ugh, there goes that. And the second. Come on. Oh, well, he's dead. There you go. We, we we did it, I think. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay. Uh, so I'm not too shabby. Um, a few things went kind of wonky, but uh, all in all, we did all right. Okay, so this is hitting us while our shield is up, which is good. Cause it's not gonna do any damage. And they don't have any uh they don't have any immunity, so that, that makes this pretty cool. Let's do that. Okay, so obviously I missed on the Mursa, but that's kinda of to be expected. And I got the sleep, so that's good. Um There's no reason to burn a heal here. So I really shouldn't, right? I don't mean burn like, you know, like soul burn. I mean just like waste the heal. Um, there's no real reason to use one. Uh, but I, do I want to heal? Do I want to do I want to give her the immunity and I think not cuz there's no one who's going to hit her anyway. Yeah, there's no one who's going to there's no one who has debuffs anyway. Okay. Yeah, and I need it for that cuz that is a is not a very good uh she does a lot of damage. She does more damage than you really might think uh, under normal cir normal circumstances. Yeah, for a three star, like she ch she chunks, man. She absolutely chunks. Okay, so that hit everybody, even the Mursa, which is excellent. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that. Um, I, the reason I didn't want to do that is because if CC's HP is lower than um. The guy over there, uh, Raz, will focus on the S on the on the FCC instead of instead of her, which is what I don't want, right? Uh, let's just give her the immunity. Why not? Um, it'll heal her and some yeah and someone else, and it'll give me the turn boost. Oh, very cool. See, there you go. S one into S two into S three again. I have not used a single S one this entire time. Uh, so we get to sleep and defense break once again, and the Mercer didn't dodge uh, again, so that's pretty cool. Perfect. So I think hopefully this showcases to some of you guys why um, why Tenebria is just so strong, like regular Tenebria, like the debuffs she has on her are just nuts. Uh, hopefully I can convince all of you to some degree that the, um, the what's it called? The Etika Scepter is like pretty good on her. I mean, maybe, okay, so maybe you can kind of argue it's not like the absolute, you know, end all be all way to go with her. But I think it's a pretty good option, you know. It's uh, very useful. Oh, and I get the dual attack. I didn't get the sleep. Okay. Alright, and then the uh, S1. Very cool. Uh, so she's at level 9. Uh, just one more level and I get some more molas for her. Um, so that didn't go out, go the way I thought it would. Did we not knock over that tower? Let's go see the... Oh, wait, yeah. 
I guess we didn't knock it over, which is kind of annoying. Cause, no, yeah, we did knock it over. So I don't know why I didn't get like the 180 or whatever. It's kind of weird. It might have been, was it lower? Was it like not as much havoc in there? Uh, who knows? Uh, now we got to go hit something to like get the alley-oop here for our uh, next teammate who's going to attack after me. Hopefully they attack. Um, suck if they didn't. Um... Okay, that, that was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this one looks pretty fun. Yeah, this one looks pretty interesting. Um, down here, what I think I want to do is I'm probably going to bring General Purgus. I can, if I can find him. Okay, General Purgus. Her. She'll focus her. Hopefully, I have enough to get through that. Uh, and then I need someone. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the issue now is I need to find a way to kill him. Hmm. Do I want to bring you into this? I, I kind of don't, and I really don't feel like it's a good idea, but... I kind of want to bring Dizzy into this. And then just like slowly chip away at them using Dizzy. Ugh, that just sounds disgusting. Um, yeah, that looks kind of dumb, so I'm probably just not going to do that. Well, I think we'll, we'll try what I said last time, right? Wasn't this a team I had uh, suggested of like trying to bring like just a bunch of tanks and then just uh, beat through all of them? Because like, she has healing, sure, but I don't think it's going to be enough for it to deal with everything that's going on over here, especially like my Alencia can hit pretty hard. So we'll just go with that. I mean, I think ideally here, I'd probably have my Falconer Clary and then just, uh, like, defense break him. And then work on, like, just beating him till he's dead. Okay, so up here, what I want to do is... Where is it? Um... Actually, don't know what I'm looking for anymore. Oh yeah, uh, SSB. And uh, where is? Let's go with the girl. Where's the? Where is she? You. Uh, this is kind of contingent on the fact that she's fast enough to do whatever she's here to do. Uh, he could be too fat. Like if he's too two twenty. Like okay, so here here's kind of what what's funny about this, right? So some people run their arbiter villages like two twenty speed or something like that, and then you know other people run them lower, like you know, and focus more damage. Like, if he's at 220 speed, it's a win-win, right? Because if he's at 220 speed, he's not going to be doing enough damage to me, so it's fine. I can just put up the whatever bar the, the barriers and, and all her buffs. But if he's under 220 speed, then my DN gets to go first, and then I still put the buffs up, and then he, he doesn't he, he does even less damage, right? That's kind of the idea there. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, uh, the fact that I'm bringing three waters hopefully will confuse... Uh, Charles to some degree. He was he was faster. Of course, didn't do very much. Uh, let's put this up. So my DN is actually not that fast anyway. It's like she's like two two hundred like barely like flat two hundred speed. Okay. So it's actually, and this, the speed tune is also kind of interesting here because you would think that like the Lilius would go first because I mean usually the Lilius uh, is turn one, but not in this case, so that's kind of interesting. Um, at this point, I feel like I can just S three somebody, and I didn't, I, I should have been paying attention, but I didn't look at to, look to see what um, I looked to see what Charles, uh, what HP he was at, but I'm gonna miss here. 
and still kill him, so that's cool. Uh, let's let's just hit. Well, let's just hit both of them. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's get these buffs up, these barriers up. Okay, and then we get the S2. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna probably kill him. Yeah, so he's dead now. Uh, now I, I just I really need to survive this. Uh, the fact that we don't have defense buff is is kind of troublesome, but of course the uh, crit resist uh, saves everybody who needs to be who needed to be saved there. Um, so hopefully we land this. Okay, and we got the crit too, so that's pretty cool. Um, we'll hit you. Okay. So I mean, you kind of want to kill Arbiter now that he's he's uh he's wasted his revive, but like, and then that S one does no damage for some reason. Uh, Arbiter's S one <laughs> rarely does damage. I mean, it can get kind of annoying if it starts stacking up like him and the the Lilius, which is why I kill the Lilius. Him and the Lilius, like the Lilius S oneing with him, and then him S oneing, and then the Lilius S oneing again is like it's pretty dangerous sometimes. Um. So theoretically, I mean, the like I said, the idea here is that we are all so tanky. It's kind of weird. Hold on. Am I? Did I crit? I crit the cat. That shouldn't be possible, right? Like he need. He's uh. Yeah, that shouldn't really be possible because he um. I'm supposed to miss every single time. On the like the first time you hit him, you miss, right? So what what happened there? Does he have to take a turn first or something? I don't think so. Doesn't sound right. Uh, I think one of the issues I, I just realized now is um, I don't have uh, no one no one's hitting Alencia, so no one's proccing her Alencia passive. Which is where a lot of her damage does come from, so that's something to consider. Uh, I really want to be careful hitting this Rylet here, okay? Uh, because okay, so she's defense broken, but it doesn't really matter. I really want to be careful hitting this Riolu now because, um, it, like, if he hits somebody, like if he hits anybody here, they're gonna, they're probably gonna die. Uh, well, I mean, not anymore. Like she had the defense break on her, so that was that was what was concerning me there. Okay, so we got that on her. Okay. Unfortunately, she's too fast for it to stick on her. I think I'm just gonna have to like. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to uh, S three him. So now Alencia's gonna go. Uh, Activate, I'm going to activate her S3 again, and then heal S3 somebody, and hopefully we're golden. Okay, so we didn't get a whole lot of damage, of course, but that's fine. Um, we just need the defense buff, and we need to trigger his passive, uh, and nobody will die from this, theoretically. Yep, cool. Uh, you don't really need him. But I'm building Watcher Shuri right now, like specifically for two reasons. Uh, for one, which they're kind of mitigated a little bit by um, what's her name? By Melissa, which I do have, so I should, you know, it's, it's one of those things like, oh, I really should just build my Melissa. Um, but let's see what happens here. Yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I mean, I really should. It's mitigated kind of by running Melissa, period, but uh, I'd rather just uh, have Watcher Shuri. Like, he just seems like he's more uh, a more secure thing. Plus, he's got the speed imprint, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so all in all, I think uh, I'm just going to go with Watcher Shuri for the. For one, like, the, like it's not necessarily, like I said, it's not 100% the Rylet counter. Um. Because like you're penetrating defense, right? But just having like a, a you know a hard nuke. Let's see. I need to uh... yeah, just having someone nuke really hard is very valuable. Um, let's see. Come on. 
Oof. Come on. Crit. Okay, let's get this. So this is gonna be a very slow fight. I feel like maybe I should just skip ahead and then uh Yeah, so no one no one like theoretically no one should be one shot by this. Um This is why the you know kind of the idea behind the team, but it's not always a guarantee. I'm I'm killing the I'm trying to kill this uh this Falconer Clary because she keeps doing this, which is it, it puts me it makes me nervous because for one like with that suddenly um she, like she's in she's in very she's in serious danger of dying um if that if he had if he has his S three land on somebody let's uh let's do this. And we didn't get the wow. The one time we need to land the defense break, we don't. Okay, so this is bad. Um, we need to make sure not to hit the Rylet right now because we don't have the. Uh... Okay, very good. Come on, just kill her. Defense break, please. Gosh damn, dude. Uh, so yeah, of course we're just gonna um, S3 him with, uh, what's her name? I'm gonna S3 you. Um, uh, farce. Um, let's do that, I guess. The attack buff, of course, doesn't like do the most. Ooh, she might take some serious damage here. The attack buff doesn't do like the most for Alencia, of course, because like she has a health scaling and all that. Oh, very good. I got the uh, mind type procs. That's cool. Um, but it's 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 not nothing. Is what I want to stress that stress the, the point there. Come on, come on, please get the defense break. Thank you. <laughs> Dead. Cool. Okay, so now we can work on the uh, fat cat over there. Uh, and we want to do the cat like so the 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 falconer clary was first uh, because let's get this up falconer clary was first because um, you want to get rid of the healing any healing that's going on and then um, fat cat is second so we can make it easier to kill um, Riolu there okay so then I get to do this and then take off his little dodge which is irritating beyond belief okay. Very nice. We get to do this to you. Okay, how are we doing with Rylet here? Okay, he still got a turn left. So let's let's just heal up. Okay, so he's gonna do this. This is kind of interesting that he doesn't have any effectiveness. A lot of people tend to run a lot of effectiveness on their uh, on their fat cats there, but um, yeah, it's just kind of weird that he doesn't have any. Okay, so he's about to S3 someone, so let's just get uh, max healing out of the way here. Okay. So this is actually kind of risky now, I just realized that order, that turn order might have been kind of iffy. Well, it's not so bad. Yeah, I'll just heal him with uh, with her. Uh, the reason I was worried is because, like, who, now he's going he's gonna to S3 again, but uh, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. So, yeah, this is the this is the issue now is, um, like, for him, is that this uh, Riolu doesn't have any sustain or anything. It's just, like, we're not doing a whole lot of damage because he keeps dodging, sure, but, like, he's just going to die eventually. Okay, come on, S2... Um, and yeah, so, uh, you know, the fat cat for one was just kind of there giving him more evasion, which, you know, it's like just killing him gives us a 15% chance, like a, it's a literal 15% chance uh, increase of success or just, just doing better. Oh, I actually didn't realize my Lencia needs more, um, what's it called? Friendship there. Uh, so that was that. Um, all in all, pretty decent. Uh, we are, let's see. 
three fifty below them. So I don't know if our I think you get three sixty at most, right? So let's go look at what we got here. Uh, what am I? Um, actually, how do you? Yeah, you can you can see right. You can like. I can look here and see how much I have. No, it doesn't let me see how much havoc. I have I have made. Yeah, down here it shouldn't wait. Ugh. No. Okay. So yeah, when you when you click that, it gives you the thing and it tells you how much you made. Um, but I think 360 is like you know doing pretty well. So uh, for one, I'm just kind of happy I um, I did my part. Uh, it, it it all turned out well. I won all of them. Um, and hopefully you all can learn something and. I mean, for one, like I said, so that team does look pretty interesting. It just depends on what they have on their side. Like, it lacks kill potential. So if they have like a Riolu and a Ruel, that's kind of troublesome because the Ruel, like with that team I had, there's no way I could have done enough damage to that Ruel to like finally just kill her. Um, so it's one. It's just one of those things. Now that's not to say that like Ruel, you know, Rylet is like an unstoppable combo. I mean, everything has its own like way to be beaten it's just that like sometimes people run combos like that and then it's just like oh just kind of run enough tanky people so that you survive as s3 constantly and then just beat him until he dies um but yeah i think that's a, you know for one that not only that's kind of a solution but also like another point in favor of um what's his name or what's her name uh, alencia right another reason why alencia is so good like she doesn't count like the fact that she can just survive uh, a, a Riolu S3 and just kind of be chill about it, like not even be sweating, um, is something to something to be admired almost, right? Like it, it's it means you can bring her in and be safe. It's like oh, Riolu's gonna hit someone. It's like okay, well if he hits Silencia, doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Um, yeah, so I mean, you know, good luck. Uh, I'm gonna have a video up tomorrow about um, summoning on Landy. Um, or not tomorrow, maybe it's the same day. Yeah, because it's already about to be over today, and I'm going to upload this video on um, Thursday. And in uh, that same day, I'll do the polls, and then I'll probably upload that video as well. Um, but yeah, so, you know, uh, enjoy your Guild Wars, enjoy your Wednesday, enjoy your Thursday. Hopefully you guys get lucky on that uh, on that banner. Um, I'll probably talk about her in that video at the end of that video or at some point. Um, and then we're not, what else do I have to do? I have to wait until next I'm gonna well I want to see who comes after ML crowd the, the problem is it's like there's probably no one out there who's who's gonna be released that I want except uh, Sarah like if Sarah's there I am seriously gonna have to debate uh, which which of them you know which one I'm gonna have to go for whether it's gonna be the Sarah or the ML crowd because for one, Sarah's already been pretty good, but with those buffs that she got, it's like she's getting pretty nutty. And you know, I really kind of like want to have <laughs> my Abyssal Crown on someone it's worth having on. And while I have a um, what's his name, a Basar, I'm not gonna run it on Basar because I don't use Basar because I'm not. Um, I don't know. I don't use Basar. Uh, I just dislike his playstyle, and I dislike uh, the fact that he's a dude, and basically just everything about him, right? Um, so of course I'm not gonna use Basar. Uh, Dizzy is pretty good with it, but I need Dizzy on Ayelas. Um, and that's about it. Like, there's not a whole lot of other mages that can take good effect for me anyway. That can take like, as, at least not as much as she can. Because not only, well, yeah, I mean I'll probably talk about her at some point. But uh, yeah, not only can you like stun. Do you have 100% stun on the S3? If they resist that somehow for 15%, there's still a 25% chance check that they have to do for the Abyssal Crown. Um, and now on top of that, like you, you S1, when you do the S1 and you proc a burn, uh, the AO, there's, there's an AOE attached to that, which, you know, that double triggers, not only the first person you hit has a 24% chance of being stunned, but then the S2 procs, and then that's another 25% chance for that same person, but it also spreads out over the entire team. Um, so, uh, for those of you who don't know how bad Ar uh, Saraminth is, um, She's gonna be a lot, a lot worse. Uh, it's not the biggest deal. All they're they're giving her a second burn on her S two now, and giving her unhealable on the S three, which is all right. Just cause like, it, it makes it kind of interesting. Cause you know you can kind of just bring ML Zerato into her and like just kill her as you saw earlier today. 
Um, but it, it does. It's funny because it does make it a little harder now. Because if you land the two burns and the 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 unhealable, he can only counter two. So he's stuck with either a burn or an unhealable. Which, if he's a burn, it's not that big a deal because they'll just someone else will just hit you, and there you go. You just chance for that burn. Uh, but if it's the unhealable, you're not gonna heal off your S ones anymore uh, until he removes it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's not that big a deal. Um, it's interesting that. It's interesting that it's on her. Um, I personally don't use any healers that don't have um, cleansing in their kits. So all I use is Ruel, Momo, DJ Basar, and that's it. Wow, so like, Ruel, A Momo, and DJ Basar. Yeah, there you go. I only have three healers. Um, but there you go. That kind of like shows to you it's like you don't really need that many healers to play this game. Well, at this level anyway, probably at like the highest level. Well, I, I'm building Rwanda now. Oh no, Deanne is the other one. Okay, I was like, I, I knew somebody had gear from somewhere that. But yeah, so uh, Deanne also has gear as well. Um, my Rwanda, I'm working on it. She's level sixty already. I just need gear for her. Um, but there's another, there's another uh, example of a healer. But she, funnily enough, she does not have a. Uh, oh, what's it called? She does not have a cleanse, which is. One of the main reasons I don't use her that often, as well as I don't use, um, well, it's one of the reasons she's not as a priority to, to, to be like, oh, I really need to like get her up there and use her as a main healer. Um, she's just there to be excessively irritating, just a, just a huge nuisance in general. Uh, but anyway, so that's what she's there for. Uh, the other the other person, uh, who was I talking about? Damn it. Oh, well, I lost it. But anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I, I keep. Oh man, it's like really late. I'm such a spastic. Uh, but anyway, yeah, just that's why uh, Ruana. It's not like a super huge priority right now. Um, just I don't really have a lot of reason to use her. Um, some people are saying well, there's a new heal. So there's, I think the artwork or some thoughts about the new healer uh, going forward might be um, like another heal. Like if a new healer is coming out soon. One thing that might be in this healer's kit, for some reason, it's it's attributed to her. Uh, if it's a her, it might be a he, but I think it's going to be a her. Um, one of the things that that's being put on, like, theoretically put onto this new healer's kit that, like, we're all thinking about is, a lot of people are, are, are mentioning, is maybe the possibility of, like, adding a crit damage buff at some point. So that would be pretty interesting. Um, especially, like, could you imagine, like, I don't, I don't have shoe, which is kind of annoying. Like imagine like you're running Shu and then this new healer with the crit buff. Like you have a, a crit chance debuff, and then you have the healer running the the crit damage buff on your Shu, who is basically a water Alencia, and we all know how hard water Alencia hits, right? Um, so that's kind of interesting to consider. Um, I think it does kind of like the more I think about it, the more I'm like, oh, it kind of sucks not to have Shu, but like I don't really think she's like. It's hard, anyway. Yeah, this is getting into some discussion, but anyway, um, yeah, that that'll be it for today. Like I said, uh, later to later uh, today, Thursday should be out the uh, summoning video. So hopefully, uh, we'll see how we'll see how that goes. I have enough for a pity and a half. I could probably, I mean, I have enough sky stones to like double pity, but I don't think I really want to. Hopefully, I just get one of her and then one of her artifact, and we can just bounce. But uh, I doubt that's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, so good luck on your Guild Wars and uh, good luck for you guys who are already summoned and uh, uh, on that as well as like the crowd thing. Um, but yeah, so that's that.